and I'm sure other people will join us. So welcome everyone. Uh, we're getting very, very close to AIDS 2024 and we're all very excited. Um, there's lots of activities and actions and networking that will happen. We're gonna be able to see many of us and be able to, you know, look at familiar faces, new faces, listen to the new scientific evidence and research. But more importantly, we're going to be there to network and be able to learn and support each other as a community. On today's webinar, Trans Empowerment, A Gate to AIDS 2024, we're going to be exploring, you know, what are the sessions and activities that both the AIDS Conference and also Partners and GATE has prepared for the trans and gender diverse community, looking at recommendations, looking at what we can do, and also how we should manage our time. There's a lot happening. There's many conferences, many, many, many sessions. And it's always important to also ensure that we take care of ourselves. Remember, well-being is important and that we don't have to attend every single session. With that in mind, we have prepared some recommendations for you to consider, but we want to share a lot of uh, information with you today that hopefully will help you around deciding how to participate and engage in AIDS 2024. Welcome once more, and today with me, I have Amanita Amanita Calderon Cifuentes, who is a Colombian scientist and trans activist renowned for her work in trans rights advocacy, advocacy. With over a decade of research in microbiology and cellular stress response, her work on sexual and reproductive health and rights, particularly infectious diseases like HIV and monkeypox. Ma Amanita is a partner and works at Transgender Europe, TGEU. And with us also joining is Anil. Anil joined GATE in April 2023 and is our health program's lead. They bring many years of experience in health and human rights advocacy to his role at GATE as the health lead. Anil is passionate about improving access to healthcare for trans and gender diverse community members. And my name is Erika Castellanos. I'm executive director of GATE. So let's get started. Please remember, if you have any questions to both Amanita, Anil, or to myself or our team at GATE, please use the question and answer um, uh, button that you will see uh, on, on the bottom part of uh, the Zoom. Post your questions there and we'll make sure to try to answer all of them. So let's get started, Anil. Can you please uh, enlighten us? How can trans communities select sessions relevant to them at AIDS 2024 conference, given it's such a huge conference and so much is going on? How can we do this? So Erica, thanks so much. Um, to try to help um, participants, GATE has developed the AIDS 2024 trans roadmap. Um, and uh, we're going to share our screen now and just show everyone how to get to the roadmap. Um, it consists of a curated selection of conference sessions, and they've been chosen for their relevance to the trans and gender diverse community. As Erica has said, AIDS 2024 has an extensive program, and there will obviously be other sessions that will be relevant to the community, depending, of course, on the specific field of work you're in. But we've tried to include sessions in the roadmap that center trans voices and highlight the important work that's being done by trans and gender diverse researchers, activists, and community-led organizations around the world. So when you get to the GATE website, which is www.gate.ngo, you then navigate to the knowledge portal, click on events, and this will take you, you'll be able to see all of the upcoming events. And then you scroll down until you get to AIDS 2024. And there you will be able to see the link to our roadmap. And the um, there's a, a number of different ways that you can interact with the roadmap. 
um, first of all, you can subscribe to the calendar with that tab. Secondly, if it's easier and more accessible to you, you can download and print the roadmap and that'll be easier for people who don't have a um, Google account, a Gmail account. And then you can also just interact with the um, roadmap online and select specific sessions and add them to your calendar. Um, and we've got all of the sessions laid out here for you to be able to have a look at them. For example, it is a session that I'm particularly excited about, which is happening on the 24th of July at 7 a.m. And that is a session titled Trans Men and HIV, Advancing Inclusion for a Healthier Future. It's hosted by GATE and the International Working Group on Transmasculine Persons and HIV. And because it's an early morning session and because breakfast, as we know, is the most important meal of the day, we're going to have tea and coffee and eats available from 6.45 for that session. And this session, the reason why I'm so excited about it is that it focuses on one of the crucial issues in the international HIV response, which is ensuring the inclusion of all vulnerable and marginalized communities. Now, as we know, the trans and gender diverse community bears a disproportionate burden of ill health and is particularly vulnerable to HIV. Um, and this is the reason for this is rooted in the inequalities and the stigma and discrimination faced by our communities. Um, in recent years, there has been a growing recognition of this vulnerability, and we've had progress made towards including trans women, particularly as a key population. However, we've still got a long way to go. We still see a lack of funding being dedicated to programming for trans women. And we see continued barriers to access to services, which are then reflected in lower levels of viral uh, suppression and lower levels of retention in care. And as for trans men, trans masculine persons and other gender diverse persons, we are still largely excluded from HIV programming and from data collection. And this is despite emerging data on vulnerability, we're still seeing very little awareness and very little inclusion of trans men in HIV service provision. So in our opinion, the best re response to this situation is a community-led response. And so GATE and the Trans Men and HIV Working Group have developed a comprehensive policy brief on improving the inclusion of trans men in the global HIV and other health responses and we're going to be highlighting this policy brief at our groundbreaking session at AIDS 2024 to help to build awareness and solidarity and also to highlight the importance of including the trans community as a whole in the HIV response so that we can all move forward together to end HIV as a public health threat. So that's the session that I'm particularly excited about. Um, and the um, uh, Gates also going to be running the trans networking zone at the conference. For those of you who've been at the conference previously, we've uh, you'll know about our program at the networking zone. Um, but to navigate to the trans uh, map, you can click on view calendar at the bottom of this page. And then you'll be able to see the events that we'll be having at the Trans Networking Zone this year. We're starting every day with a daily meetup. And this is a great opportunity for community members to come together, to plan, to strategize, for you to connect with other people who might be wanting to attend the same sessions as you, as you to discuss which um, sessions you would want to prioritize for the day. And this is a, a great kind of entry point um, to connect with other people and then go ahead and, enter, and, and um, enter the conference for the day. We're also hosting an ongoing interactive photo exhibit, which is titled, What Does Being Trans Mean to You? And we hope that as many people as possible will drop in at any time during the hours that the networking zone is open and participate in this exhibit. 
Um, you can also have a look at our program, as, as you can see on the website here, we've got our schedule of events. We've got information sessions, we've got networking sessions, and we've got some fun sessions. And in between, as Erica said, it's a very hectic conference with a very frenetic pace. If you need some space to have a cup of coffee, um, a quiet place to meet with other people or just take a breather, we've got you covered with the trans networking zone. So when we don't have sessions, we've always got a quiet space available for community members to drop in. And finally, we're going to be hosting two gala events at the networking zone with drinks and snacks available. First of all, a social gala on Wednesday the 24th, starting at 4 p.m. And then a closing gala on Thursday the 25th, also starting at 4 p.m. And we're really looking forward to connecting with as many of you as possible at the Trans Networking Zone. Thanks so much and back to you, Erica. Thank you very much, Anil. That is a lot indeed. And I really do hope that people come and visit us at the networking zone and be able to, you know, just rest for a little bit, be able to really just come for a cup of coffee, network, and that's what we really want uh, the networking zone to be for. Yeah, for. Um, next, we're going to go to Amanita. Amanita. Which sessions are you Hi, most Erica, excited you? about? I would like to know which sessions are you most excited about? Uh, so first of all, thank you so much for this invitation. I'm super excited to see um, the the result of what Gate has made with the Trans Roadmap. I will certainly be checking out uh, as many events as possible, as, at least in the times that I am going to be available. And um, thank you for your question. I wanted to warn you, my internet is uh, not working so great. So if by any reasons it falls off, I will reconnect almost immediately from maybe a different office. Uh, so I can uh, <clears throat> answer to your question. But in the meantime, how about I tell you a little bit about one of the spaces uh, where I'm going to be participating, which is the symposium called Breaking Barriers, Paving the Way for Enhanced HIV Care in Trans Communities. Actually, Anil, when you were sharing the screen, you could see it in the uh, in the calendar. You could see that on the 26th of July from 12 to one o'clock, um, we will be hosting a, a, a one hour session uh, that will be talking about uh, the health challenges that trans people uh, face. Um, oh, am I still there? Yes that people, uh, trans people face. And we're gonna uh, focus on the increased susceptibility to HIV. And um, so to give you like a little um, mouth opening uh, information, I don't know if, if, if the uh, people attending this webinar are aware of the fact that um, trans feminine people have 66 times higher risk of contracting HIV than the general public, being the general public, um, uh, cisgender people between the ages of 15 and 49, while trans masculine people have almost seven times higher risk of contracting HIV. So what does this say to us? There is an entire uh, social dynamic, political dynamic, and economical dynamic and phenomena that are behind this high prevalence uh, within our communities. And what we want to uh, address in this symposium is precisely that. What are those barriers and how can we break them? The focus of the different uh, talks and workshops that you're going to be listening to are precisely how to break these barriers. And the approach is very much from a gender transformative approach. How can we provide holistic care for trans people and um, putting uh, the response from the community very much in the center? I uh, will have the privilege to share some of the uh, some very important data that we have been collecting in collaboration with many different trans-led networks worldwide, um, which is probably one of the most exciting um, points in the agenda, at least for me, which is one a community-led uh, based study that is cross-regional that uh, shows you the, um, how, how the gender identity laws, such as legal gender recognition and gender affirming care, 
can impact the HIV outcomes. So we're, we're really eager to dive into, into these strategies to ensure a comprehensive care for trans individuals um, and to address the challenges that we will also be describing in this session. Um, just to close, Essential will underscore the necessity of providing people-centered HIV care. Um, and we will be exploring the ways um, to expand culturally uh, appropriate and targeted uh, HIV testing efforts. So this is this is a session that uh, you as a trans person can come in to find out about the different good practices, about the different research, about the overwhelming statistics. But it's also a session that you can invite different stakeholders, whether it is policymakers or healthcare providers or funders to come and become aware of the challenges that the trans communities have uh, in regards of, of health and specifically when it comes to accessing HIV related service settings. Go back to you. Thank you very much, Amanita. And I do think it is an amazing session. It is a session that is 100% led by trans people. And I think it's it's going to be a super, super exciting session to be at and to listen and to participate and really learn from the community. So if my internet uh, allows me, um, I'm going to go really quickly. If you give me five minutes, I'm going to go really okay. quickly and change offices. That's okay, Saturday. Amanita. No problem. And as I was saying, this session in the AIDS conference is going to be the first session, the first symposium session in any AIDS conference that all the panelists from moderator to all speakers are trans or gender diverse people. It's the first 100% transgender diverse panel in an AIDS conference. So that's really amazing that the, both the, you, Anil, and Amanita are going to be in that session. But you know, one of the other things we know, Anil, is that not everybody is going to be present in, in Munich. Not everybody also will be able to follow online because there is online participation for most of the sessions. But if someone wants to keep up to date with some of the sessions, have a little bit of information about what is going on and the decisions and the conversations at AIDS 2024, what would be the alternative? So, so thanks, Erica. Yes. So um, as you've said, for those people who are attending virtually, most of the sessions that are listed in the roadmap are hybrid sessions. Um, they're in-person and online sessions. And so virtual participants will be able to join those. But for those people who can't attend the conference at all, please keep your eye on GATE social media because we're going to be doing updates on the conference. Um, in particular, on Instagram, we're going to be having live feeds and we're also going to be having interviews with key um, researchers, stakeholders, activists attending the conference. And so please keep your eye on our social media. We're going to be updating you with the most relevant breaking news from the conference um, and also giving you a feel of what it's like to be at the conference. And then, of course, the information that we're gathering at the conference is also going to be used to feed into our work in the months to come. So we're also going to be having updates um, in our uh, on our social media via our website in the months to come, even after the conference, talking about important issues that have come up at the conference, what that means for the community and how that feeds into our work. So we're hoping that in that way, we'll also be able to make this more inclusive for those community members around the world who aren't able to be at the conference. Thanks so much. Back to you, Erica. Thank you very much, Anil. And I just posted in the chat again, if you've just joined us, uh, the a curated uh, roadmap of trans events, so sessions at the conference that are be, going to be covering topics that are important for the communities or where we're going to have community speakers or panelists. And what we have prepared uh, for you is a curated uh, list of sessions where you can have a choice to go to 
um, in one place, uh, be able to find all those recommended sessions. So I, we hope that it will be useful and that you will find it informative. But Amanita, I hope the internet is better. So I'm gonna go back to you now about the sessions and you know those highlighted sessions that you are excited about and that you want to share information to us about. I think we have a problem with uh, Amanita with her internet, but it's okay. So, uh let's uh let's continue uh the conversation i think you know you can go and visit our website you will be able to find the information there around sessions and just before we close uh the the webinar anil can you share again once more on the networking zone So, so yes, so um, just to recap for, for people who've joined the webinar, uh, besides the roadmap where we've got a list of the um, events that are particularly relevant to the trans and gender diverse community, we've also got our trans networking zone at the conference that will be at the Global Village, Gate will be hosting, and um, our schedule of um, events at the um, at the networking zone is available on our website. Uh, you can check out our daily schedule of events. Throughout the day, we're going to have our interactive photo exhibit. And we really hope that as many participants as possible will come in and um, uh, join in with that and participate in this interactive exhibit. We've got the daily meetups happening um, every morning, 10 to 10.30, come and connect with other activists who are at the conference, um, strategize for which sessions you want to attend during the day, um, uh, connect with people who want to attend the same sessions with you and go together. We're then going to have a schedule of really interesting, informative events, networking opportunities, more of your information is going to be available on our website on these particular events um, in the next coming weeks. Um, we've got some fun events happening in between. And then we've also got quiet times when you are conferenced out and you need some space um, to take a breather. We've got chill out time where coffee will be available and a quiet spot um, where you can connect with other people or just take a breather. And then finally, we've got our galas um at on wednesday the 24th and on um thursday the 25th please join us for drinks and snacks and a really great networking opportunity and we're really looking forward to connecting with people at the conference thanks so much thank you very much anil thank you amanita and i really want to share you know how uh how really good uh and on purpose we did a schedule that has very, very few sessions in the networking zone because we wanted the time for everyone to come to the networking zone and relax, network, have a conversation, meet each other, enjoy a cup of coffee. We're gonna have coffee and water available at all times. And if you just want to sit down in a sofa or work from a table, answer your emails, send communications, or just simply relax and talk to another person that you want to meet or want to uh, have a nice conversation with. This is going to be the space. We have created this space for you. Thank you very much, uh, Anil and Amanita. And uh, thank you, everyone who attended. And hope to see all of you in Munich very, very soon. Have a great day. Thank you so much, Erica. Thank you, Neil. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye.